Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever Sims video. I, that feels so weird to say that intro. I'm actually so, so excited for this video today. I have been wanting to do Sim videos for a really, really long time. They're like my favorite videos to watch of all time. I, I just like love them. I love putting on speed builds or like let's plays, things like that. I was going to make a whole separate channel originally for my gaming stuff, but I'd already built like a bit of a community on here. So I thought maybe I could just start with like posting my builds on here, see how I go. But I'm, I'm literally so excited. They're like, like I said, some of my favorite videos to watch in the whole world. Some of my favorite creators that kind of inspired me to actually do this too are like, Sid Mac, uh, Deligracy, who else? Uh, Dr. Ashley, she does heaps of cool builds at the moment that I want to do. They're like career salary builds. I, I watch heaps of hers. <laughs> oh, and Danielle builds. I love her speed builds and ASMR and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with just voiceovers until I kind of get my camera situation sorted. At the moment, I do have a camera, but it's just like, it's really not... Yeah, I'm not vibing with it, okay? The battery is like really, really bad. Like I can probably shoot like 30 minutes. I mean, it's an old camera too because I haven't vlogged in forever. So in reality, like I do need a new camera, but it's just not a big priority right now. So I thought I could just start off with like voiceover, ASMR kind of stuff. Like a podcast you can kind of just put on in the background and, you know, go about your day, do things, watch a sim build. So yeah, so today, obviously you would have seen by the title, I kind of, I was umming and ahhing. I didn't know what to do because I'm not going to lie. I'm not the greatest builder, okay? And I am terrible at roofing and stuff like that. So I also thought if I started this channel, it would help me learn things. And hopefully by me learning, it'll teach you too, because I know it can be really daunting, like building your own house. Because honestly, I'm such a sucker for like downloading a shell off the gallery and then just filling it with my own stuff. The decorating part, I, I'm not bad at. It's just the building. So this is all going to be a journey. And I think we'll, we'll have some fun, hopefully together. Hopefully, um... My mic is okay. Again, I'm working on soundproofing the room too. This is all, I'm raw dogging this, okay? I'm doing my best today. So if you hear beeping and stuff like that, it is literally like 10.30 in the morning. So people are out and about and people are beeping and I live in a pretty busy area. So I have, I'm going to try and keep the background noise to a minimum. But yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling on and you're like, hurry up, get to the building. What I want to do is I want to do like a bunch of little tiny houses, I think. That way I'm doing it like bite-sized pieces where I'm building small houses and learning how to roof small things and then work my way up. I thought I could make this a series. So this will be a, probably like a few parts. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try and film a lot and hopefully post pretty regularly. I'm thinking either... A Monday or a Tuesday. I'm really excited for this and with Christmas and Halloween coming up I thought I could do some really fun building videos. Let's go ahead and head on over to our wheel So I am gonna record this on my phone tap to spin This will be the first house what what vibe it'll be from Oh my god industrial. <laughs> oh wait, no is it industrial or is it farmhouse? No, it's farmhouse. Okay, that's kind of fun actually farmhouse I could probably do um, and then I think I might do like maybe some path, like some like a path through here. Do that, like one house here, second house here, third house here. Maybe then landscape around that. Let's just let's just play around. We'll give it a go. We'll see how we go, really. But yeah, like, like I mentioned before, I'm not a profesh. I literally just do this in like my spare time. <laughs> it's like always just I don't know. The Sims to me has just always been something that's just like consistently been through my life, and I just love it, and I. I remember playing like The Sims 2 and being like, oh my God, the graphics are so amazing. Like you can do this and this and this. And then imagining talking to myself, my like 10 year old self and being like, dude, you wait till The Sims 4 gets here. The only thing I wish they didn't, I wish they didn't get rid of like the traveling stuff. I hate loading screen, like the fast travel stuff. I hate that. So that's the only thing I don't like about The Sims, but everything else is like really fun. realize I totally forgot to put on any of my building cheats so I do use cheats I'm gonna need to use them on load cheat too to get some money in a sec but I'm just gonna show you how to quickly get into it on your computer uh, hit control shift C it's gonna open up this little box you're gonna go ahead and type in testing cheats 
face true enter cheats are enabled uh we're going to do bb dot move objects which will allow you to basically pop things anywhere you want go ahead and screenshot that if you want to enter uh and then also bb dot show hidden objects so these will bring everything out of debug and all that sort of stuff fun plants fun little clutter things you can use mother load a bunch of times so mother load will give you like 50k i think and rosebud gives you like a thousand simoleons let's go ahead and roof this bad boy So we've got like that little bit there and then I'm thinking, maybe I will actually do a room out here too. Go ahead and pop another gabled roof, but I'm going to actually go this way. Cause in a lot of the pictures that I was looking in Pinterest, they had like the roof going, the roofs going like different ways and then just slightly off so let's have a look and see what this looks like I'm gonna pick the paint out the front first I just want to do white paneling honestly I just want to do white paneling I feel like it's calling to me I feel like that's the vibe I need like a really crispy white see like that that kind of that kind of goes what I'm actually gonna do is I I'm gonna build like a chimney I'm gonna do a little bump out as if like a chimney is here. About there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna make it work. We are gonna make it work. Let's pop some windows and stuff in. Like I could do that as the front door, but then that's very like, come on in. We're gonna fence this off now. I wanna do like a little white, kind of classic little white picket fence. So I just raise that bad boy up. I'm gonna pop some steps in. I can imagine like people sitting out here with like a little guitar, playing music. If you'd like the look of a plant too, you can always size it up by hitting shift and then like the bracket key. That way you can size up plants you really like. I think for farmhouse, we have to do one of these little cozy knitting ones. They're really cute. Oh, I don't think there's any in actually something like that fits really well with the stone hole thing we've got going on alrighty so this is the outside so far looking pretty good I went ahead and just did all of the landscaping out here too uh, quickly I didn't want to bore you too much so I did chop through a lot of it but this is the outside so far I had like a, some details and stuff here some wind chimes things like that the hose obviously so yeah, I tried to bring as much greenery as I could to the outside just to kind of give it a bit more of something because it was looking, she was looking grim. Okay, so we're gonna move into the inside. Now I I have been umming and ahhing. I don't, I really want the kitchen back here. I want the stairs going up or like up here and around. And I really want like an open concept bedroom. Like I'm actually, I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of this whole floor here. How can I get rid of just the floor? Oh, how can I get rid of the floor? Gets rid of the floor. Told you I'm a pro. Anyway, yeah, I want to do like an open concept living. Floorboards. I want to keep the kind of light brown going. This is going to be a kitchen back here, so I could just split that so it's not as like one colour. Okay, I might do that. I'm going to go ahead and try and find like a... Like a light. That could be quite nice. Actually, I might do that. For the kitchen, though, I really want to do like a split. Somehow bring some colour into it. I'm thinking... Ooh, we do have these green and brown cabinets. Is that too much green, though? I don't have any lights in here. I need to go... I'm going to go ahead and put some base game lights in just to kind of lighten up the space so I can see like the actual color of things. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clutter up this bad boy. Stool wise I'm thinking like these ones because they're kind of giving that rustic kind of look that I am going for. Let's see what else watches they have. Mm. Oh there's like a green top one. Do I do the white? Because I feel like the white Brings everything back a bit. Okie dokie. Well, that leaves. That's the kitchen done and dusted. 
you know what, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop this first part here. I'm happy with how everything's looking so far. The outside's looking cute, the kitchen's looking so great and cluttered and lived in, which is the overall aesthetic I kind of go for when I am decorating in The Sims. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the second part right now, so hopefully it'll be up relatively soon for you guys and we'll get to do the living room and the kitchen and maybe a sneak peek at the upstairs. I don't wanna make these videos terribly long because I know sometimes they can be a hard watch. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna see what's going on in other parts of my life, go ahead and follow my TikTok and Instagram. I'll pop them in the description bar. And also, if you have any suggestions, building tips that you use when you build, I'd love to hear them in the comments or just overall feedback, that would be great too. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna know when I post. And I guess I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video, which will hopefully be part two. Bye.